Syracuse at Wake Forest. Wake Forest is favored by 10 here. Um, let me write this time down. Make sure I've got the, the thing so that we can do the chapters on the YouTube. You guys know how it is. Wake Forest favored by 10 at home against the Orange. 56 and a half is the total. This one's 8 p.m. Eastern time on the ACC network. Let's go on and pull up the numbers here. And I've got it right around there. Nine and a half based on the last five weeks of data. Um, looking at the trends here. Syracuse 6-2 and two against the spread of the last eight following a double-digit loss at home, <laughs> which I'm sure has happened more than they would like to admit. They are 2-5 and five against the spread against a winning team. They are 1-4 and four against the spread of their last five following a spread loss. They are, uh, let's see, 0-5 oh against the spread following a straight-up loss. Um, They're 0-5 oh against the spread in their last five in November. I mean, they have just kind of completely fallen off. However... Against Wake Forest, Syracuse is 8-3 and three against the spread in the last 11 meetings. Remember, this one came down to a last-second touchdown uh, in the Dome last year by Wake Forest. Wake Forest, if you look at them, they are 5-2 and two against the spread the last seven following a spread loss. But here's the issue. They are 1-5 and five against the spread in their last six home games against a team with a winning road record. Syracuse does, in fact, have a winning road record. It's kind of surprising, I guess. But regardless, uh, this this Syracuse team has kind of kind of fallen off a little bit, and a big part of that is their rush rate here. Uh, teams are running the ball on them like over sixty percent of the time, and it's because that defensive line is just weakened right now. Uh, they've there's not as much depth there. Um, that's been like their their main go to, and maybe the reason why the defense uh, has been so good as far as the secondary is concerned is because teams are only throwing the ball on them 36% of the time. That is number three in the country. Like, it's the third lowest in the country. It's just insane. So you're not having to worry about a whole lot of explosiveness, et cetera. Well, what does that mean when you've got a team that's coming in that's going to throw the ball 60% of the time, right? Wake Forest throws the ball nearly 60% of the time. The number 24 PPA per pass, number 18 pass success rate. Yeah, it's going to be an issue. Uh, Wake Forest does not run the football. Uh, they're number 113 in rush rate right now, number 127 PPA per rush, number 108 rushing success rate. They're not explosive running it. Uh, they've just kind of gone away from it for whatever reason. When you look on defense for Wake Forest, uh, they are really good at, at stopping the run. Syracuse, that was their bread and butter. That was what they were doing. Robert and I had that thing rolling, and you know Sean Tucker, while a great back, uh, hasn't exactly been fully healthy, I don't believe. And so... Yeah, well, what you're getting here is, you know, a Wake Forest defense that's number 45 in offensive line yards allowed, number 20 in stuff rate. Syracuse is number 128 on offense in stuff rate allowed. And Syracuse's offense over the past five weeks is number 130 in standard downs PPA, and I think Wake Forest is going to be able to handle that. Um, this offense wants to get back on track for Wake. Like, they, they have not played well. Uh, they have already gone under their season win total, and there's still two games left because they've already got four losses. Like, this was this was considered a top-10 team. I think these NFL wide receivers are going to have some success against that Syracuse secondary. Syracuse, I think, is just trying to get to the finish line. Just trying to get there. I know, but the, I know my number is just under the 10 here, but Wake, I think, has been embarrassed the past couple of weeks. I think they're trying to get back on track here. I like Sam Hartman to do that. Uh, give me Wake to cover the 10 uh, because, man, you just I don't know that you can bet on Syracuse right now. Uh, would it surprise me to see them come back and, and put up a fight? No. But, man, uh, I think it's much more reliable to bet on Wake Forest where you know that they've got the tools and the quarterback, and I don't know that Syracuse has those. So let's, uh, let's roll with Wake Forest to cover the 10 there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.